Diabetes care balances three things. Insulin or other medications, food or carbohydrate intake, and physical activity. The student's meal plan is central to maintaining this balance. The child's health care team and parent create an individualized meal plan based upon carbohydrate counting. Protein and fat may be taken into consideration. And younger students may need help to make food choices. There are no forbidden foods for students with diabetes. It's the carbs that count. However, all children should have access to healthy meals and snacks at school. So it's important for families to have accurate carbohydrate information in advance. The amount of insulin must be matched with the amount of carbohydrates. With some insulin regimens, snacks and meals must be timed consistently. A missed snack or meal can mean hypoglycemia, low blood glucose, and that can be very serious. Plan in advance for special activities, such as parties, field trips, and extracurricular activities. Snacks have to be planned out, too. If you're off school grounds, make sure that you bring snacks, diabetes equipment and supplies, glucagon, and a list of emergency contacts. Physical activity is good for all kids, but students with diabetes may need to adjust their insulin and food intake to the intensity of physical exercise they get. Typically, Bailey, physical okay? activity lowers blood glucose. Blood That's why fast-acting carbs like fruit juice, regular soda, or glucose tablets should always be on hand. Make sure that the student also has access to a snack, meter, and diabetes supplies before, during, and after exercise. Sometimes exercise may have to wait. Follow the diabetes medical management plan.